okay students let us see the poetic devices or rhyming scheme okay what is rhyming scheme children say at the end of the line if there is similarity or same sound or same words means we can say that is same and we can give the same number now here belinda lived in a little white house we have given a rhyme scheme i'm talking about rhyme scheme a then the next line with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse house or mouse same voice here so again we can say that a rhyme scheme and next is third line and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon is different from mouse or house so we can give b the rhyme scheme or name and fourth line and a railio trulio little pet dragon wagon and dragon is same so we can give again b the sound so this is the a a b b is the rhyme scheme in the same same rhyme scheme is the um, whole stanzas you can check like that so this is a a b b rhyme scheme okay students now let us see this is very important number of poetic devices are there in this lengthy poem so here first one is oxymoron i have written it is oxymoron in the first uh, uh, stanza uh, let us see the first stanza belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse so you have a little little uh, repeat karte so that is called a repetition we can say the rhyme scheme i didn't write this one Re repetition because number of poetic uh, uh, devices are there so i didn't write that one Lit uh, little little uh, repeat hote so that is repetition next one is next answer come to the uh, no uh, fourth line of first answer and a uh, railio trulio little pet dragon say yahan par rhyming effect it is called rhyming uh, license or uh, poetic license that is railio trulio and this is uh, next one is and a little yellow and a railio to and and uh, same word is used in the third and fourth line so we can say that is uh, anaphora i wrote it is that is anaphora say in the third and fourth line and and is repeating in the first stanza so we can say that is an anaphora anaphora means what begin with the same word that is called anaphora poetical device is anaphora and next line second uh, stanza now the uh, name of the little black little kitten was link no uh, ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard Uh, but the dragon was covered and she called him custer so here for jo third line mein second stanza third line sharp as say we know that one already studied this one as or like is used for comparison that that is called simile say simile i already written here comparison word is used as or like ek kon kis se compare kiya hai say the dog was sharp as mustard so this is comparison and it is called simile next poetical device is simile and next one is uh, uh third stanza say for third and fourth line mouth like a fireplace here again it is simile chimney for a nose this is called a metaphor i to uh, wrote it metaphor here it is metaphor comparison made between different ideas or things say different ideas or things that is chimney and nose chimney 
चिमनी तो यू नो दैट वर्ड चिमनी क्या होता है जो स्मोक बाहर जाने के लिए किचन में वो ये कवंजा प्लेस कंस्ट्रक्ट करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड चिमनी उसमें से जो स्मोक बाहर जाता है कंपनी में अगर हम देख सकते हैं वो ऊपर एक ऐसा बहुत बड़ा एक पाइप लाइन दिखाई देते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड चिमनी या खांबर चिमनी फॉर ए नोस तो नोस को कैसे मेटाफर किया है से डिफरेंट आइडिया नोस तो कभी भी चिमनी का जगह पर नहीं आएगा तो यह खांबर इतना बड़ा चढ़ाकर नहीं है तो जो एक बहुत बड़ा से मीनिंग दिखाई दिया नोस को इतना बड़ा कर कर दिखाया दैट इज कॉल्ड मेटाफर कंपेयर किया है चिमनी से कंपेयर किया दैट इज मेटाफर एंड अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन See, Belinda was fourth stanza was as barrel uh, as a barrel full of beers. See, brave as a barrel. Here again, it is uh, simile. Then, young and chaste lines in, in the stairs were. You have a brave uh, as tiger. Simile again. And next, come to the fifth stanza. Here that is, no fifth uh, in the perceiver. See uh, second line, Ying, Bling, and Mustard. They rudely called him Percival. Uh, that is personification. See Ying, Jo uh, Mustard. They rude, rudely called him. Jo Dragon ko kya uh, bulaya hai Percival. Percival is a person. पर्सन है पर्सन से कंपेयर किया है तो उसको पर्सोनिफिकेशन कहते हैं क्योंकि ड्रैगन एक पर्सन नहीं है पर्सन के साथ कंपेयर किया तो उसको पर्सोनिफिकेशन कहते हैं दैट इज पर्सोनिफिकेशन एंड नेक्स्ट स्टैंसा स्टैंसा नंबर सिक्स और वीक साउंड से दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑनामेटोरिया से ऑनामेटोफिया दिस इज ऑनामेटोफिया और The sounds are coming jiggled. Say first line, Belinda jiggled till she shook the no house. Jiggled is uh, uh, laughing. So, इसको जो जो sound words दिया है, say used to describe a sound. A word is used to describe a sound. It is called an onomatopo, onomatopoeia. That is onomatopoeia. Jiggling is a is an onomatopoeia. In poetical device. The next one is weak. W second line there is and bling said weak. W W E C K. Say that is again sound and jiggling for a mouse and uh, nice safe cage. Say this is the repetition here. Again repetition is used. And, and next stanza, stanza number seven. Say suddenly, suddenly they heard a nasty sound. Suddenly, sudden, suddenly is the repetition. Particular device used here. Repeated sounds. Repeated words used here. Repetition हो गया. Or next one is seven. The uh, stanza third line. Muk. Say muk is the compound words. कॉम्बॉन वर्ड्स म्यू और वो यू सी एच ऊक साउंड ये दोनों मिलकर म्यूक आ गया है सो दिस इज कॉम्पाउंड वर्ड्स पोइटिकल डिवाइस कौन सा पोइटिक डिवाइस है कॉम्पाउंड वर्ड्स दो वर्ड्स में एक साथ मिलाकर ज्वाइन कर कर एक वर्ड बन गया कॉम्पाउंड तीसरा एक वर्ड बन गया दैट इज म्यू और ऊच म्यूक और नेक्स्ट वन स्टैंड एट Or pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right hand, lead in his teeth, or one glass wood. There is no uh, clear the pirate meant no wood. There is no uh, rhyming scheme. No, there is no poetic device. Again, come to the ninth stanza. Belinda paled and she cried, "Help, help!" But mustard fled. Uh, fled with a terrified yelp. This is transferred epithet. We can say that is the transferred epithet. We know that one. The meaning is uh, when an emotion or uh, is attributed to a non-living thing after being displaced from a person. Say when a um, emotion 
that is terrified yelp terrified yelp transfer epithet e action transfer hote say noun ke liye noun mein nahi hai to adjective mein transfer kiya jata hai to usko kya kya hota hai transferred epithet kya kaam par when an emotion verb is attributed to a non living thing attributed to a non living thing after being displaced from a person एक पर्सन से टेरिफाइड टेरिफाइड येल्प ये जो ये जो एक्शन इसमें ट्रांसफर होते हैं इसको ट्रांसफर्ड एपिथेट कहते हैं टेरिफाइड कहा से आते हैं येल्प तो ह्यूमन बींग्स का है टेरिफाइड तो यहाँ पर नॉन लिविंग है लेकिन ये दोनों मिलकर ये एक्शन इस पर आएगा तो ये एक्शन ट्रांसफर होते है एक बहुत दूसरा एक एक्शन बन जाते दैट इज कॉल्ड ट्रांसफर एपिथेट नेक्स्ट वन स्टैंड नंबर इलेवन अगेन से कर्ट सम गो फ्रॉम हिस पॉकर फ्लेग और ही फायर टू बुलर्स विथ बट दे डिड नॉट हिल कस्टार्ड गो बुल्ड हिम so the uh, sound is uh, again coming repeat uh, repetition is also there is from see first line second line mein from his pocket flagon say a yeah, f is repeated here and stanza number 12 ha there is no uh, particular devices are there next 14th pair stanza say still uh, lives in her little white house See, little white house, still or little. Again, it is um, repetition with her little black kitten. Little, little is uh, repeating here. Second line, little, little is repeating. So repetition is there. And next answer, last answer, as barrel. A again, simile is repeating here. As barrel full of beers and in. mustard is as brave as tiger in race so these are the poetical devices mainly there are 6 7 8 poetical devices are there say first one is oxymoron opposite meaning pet or dragon say oxymoron i um, will explain i think say oxymoron what is the oxymoron jo opposite meaning ko batate hai pet dragon say mostly we know that one dragon is uh, such a strange creature and we will not accept as a pet as dragon dragon ko ek pet ka roop mein accept karna bahut mushkil hai to yahan par opposite meaning ko dragon ko pet ka roop mein explain kiya hai isliye humko isko kya kar sakte hai oxymoron next simile you know that when as or like is used means that is simile as mustard is simile metaphor comparison made between different ideas or things bada chada kar dikhayega to usko metaphor kehte hai chimini को नोस का समान नोस को चिमनी से कंपेयर किया देन एंड एफ और बिगिन विद सेम वर्ड एंड एंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ लाइन फर्स्ट एंड साइज रिपीटिंग एंड 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 ओनोमेट्रोफिया और वर्ड साउंड वर्ड्स साउंड वर्ड्स डिगलिंग दैट इज साउंड वर्ड देन कॉम्पाउंड वर्ड्स व्हेन टू वर्ड्स आर टू साउंड्स आर जॉइन टुगेदर एंड मेकिंग अनदर थर्ड और मेड अनदर थर्ड वर्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड म्यूक हियर म्यू और ओ म्यूक दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉम्पाउंड वर्ड द नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्रांसफर्ड अपिट से व्हेन एन इमोशन और एट्रिब्यूटेड टू अ नॉन लिविंग थिंग टू अ displaced from a person that is transferred with these are the important poetic devices and let us see some of the question answers okay students the so question answers uh, first one who are the characters in this poem you know that one five characters are there belinda ying custard blink and mustard now why did custard cry for nice cage because it uh, doesn't like to disturb anybody else then belinda tickled him tickled him and was for why because uh, she uh, she used to make fun this ugly creature or this uh, 
Custard Dragon. Then the poet has employed many poetic devices in the poem. For example, clashed his tail like iron in a dragon. Poetic device here is a simile. Then next, list some more poetic device. I explained already this uh, poetic device. And stanza 3, uh, again to know how poet, poet describes appearance of dragon. We uh, saw that one, dragon's appearance. Or next one is, can you find the rhyme scheme of two and three stanza? Second and th third stanza, the poetic device is the same. A, A and B, B. Next one, do you find the tale of custard dragon to be serious or a light hearted poem? Give reason. It is a, say, a serious or light hearted? Yes, it is light hearted but giving a very good idea that is, say, don't judge a book by its cover. See, kisko bhi mein ba, hum bahar ka appearance de kar kisi ko bhi judge nahi kar sakte. Then, so this is the, these are the questions. Now last writing, uh, one writing thing is there. Have fun writing your ballad. Ballad, you know that one ballad. So you write one description about ballad. Ballad kya hai, iska baare mein ki description bhi aap copy mein likna hai. So it is completed. I hope all you understood this one. Thank you very much. Go through it, read it. It is one of the interesting uh, poem. So learn it and enjoy the poem. Okay, bye bye.